This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, next up, we're going to see, uh, Trish break away from TNA at this point. Is this Trish asking for that? Is this just the way the cookie crumbles and that's the way the creative landed? What do you remember about how we, we break them up as a team? Well, you listen to the audience when the audience is cheering more for the person on the outside of the ring and they're reacting more to what they're doing than the people that they're managing or valeting for that, that tells you something. And that told us that Trish people wanted more Trish. So take her away from at that point. I think that, uh, test and Albert may have been an anchor around Trish's neck and, Instead of her being able to fly, it was she was kind of anchored with them at that point. So you needed to remove that anchor. Well, when we remove the anchor, we're gonna we're gonna put her with Vince McMahon, and uh, this is a decision that's been criticized by quote unquote smart fans over the years. Whose idea was this creative? What do you remember about it? What year was this? Oh one, two thousand oh one. Uh, this was, you know, I'm going to say it was probably, you know, on that Tommy Blanche, Brian Gewertz era where they were coming up with some fun shit. So I, I wasn't as involved day to day with creative at that time. So it was, it was something I'm sure that one of those two came up with. Did you do any of their, uh, their pre-tapes together? I did a few, but not, not a whole lot because I was doing a lot of talent relations and kind of winding that up at the time. So the creative is, uh, as a reminder, this is early Oh one and Vince is quote unquote cheating on Linda. And, uh, it's going to lead to some, some hurt feelings with Stephanie. Of course, Stephanie is going to start, try to punish Trish and put her in matches with Jacqueline. Uh, and then that builds to Stephanie versus Trish at no way out 2001. Meltzer would say Stephanie pinned Trish in eight minutes and 30 seconds. This match was a miracle. Vince setting it, set it up, telling Regal, you know what to do, but Regal had no clue what that meant. Stratus took all the real bumps. The moves they did like clotheslines, DDTs and power bombs all looked decent. It at no point looked any worse than China. And at some points may have been better. They did the requisite stuff with Trish's shorts being pulled off, showing her thong panties, but no shirts were pulled off. Regal came out and tripped referee Jimmy Corderas and put Stratus on top and then put McMahon's leg on the ropes and informed the ref. Stratus was mad and slapped Regal. Regal gave her a neck breaker and left, allowing McMahon to get the pin. After the match, Vince said he wanted a tag match with he and Trish against Regal and Stephanie, two and a quarter stars. I do love the the creative of Vince telling Regal, you know what to do. But, wink, wink. But Regal not knowing what to do. So I'm going to make it like I'm helping one girl, but then immediately help her out of it. It was fun. Like, okay, I'll do something for both. Cause I don't know who we meant there, his daughter or his quote unquote love interest. Nice little, uh, twist there. It really was that to me, I think it was a fun time and it, it's kind of where in many respects, the creative took a turn into a little more fun and having situations like this with a lot more story depth into it. And again, I, I go back and I, I credit guys like Gewertz and Blancha that were, you know, doing a lot of the creative at that time. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.